Welcome to Show Scale Modeling. This is part 8 of Trumpeter's BRD Class 52 Locomotive. Scale is 1 to 35. In part 7 I dealt with the wheels uh, plus an amount and in part 8 I'm going to be working on the pistons and the mechanism to move the train. So let's jump into this and see how I get on. Starting off with making the mechanism for the, um, for the pistons that go inside the actual housing. The, the, there's various uh, little parts to make up here. Um, it's actually quite a, a little complicated um, thing to make up. Each uh, one has a, a... I wouldn't say a left and right, but it's it's got a certain way it has to go. There's um, moving parts that I have to make sure that I'm not cementing. So it's um, quite detailed. The first part is this... Uh, bracket thing that I've made up and then the beam goes inside and it's very important that this um, free moves because once I install it it has to move so that I can uh, fit in the other parts. There's a couple of little brackets at the end that I have to place on. They only go one way, well they only should go one way. Um, it took a little bit of figuring out how to uh, put them on the right way around because they're very similar so it was a, a lot of checking and rechecking to make sure that they're on properly. This uh, little part here um, doesn't have any cement at all, it just dangles down um, and again it's, it's crucial that I put this on um, without any cement before uh, putting the end bracket on. To put it in place first of all there's a piston bar that I'm placing on and then the part that I made up uh, gets um, inserted into the piston bar. Once more, it's important not to put any cement on this uh, whatsoever. There's other uh, components uh, will be attached to this later on down the line. Next is, um, I think it's a couple of rail guards type things that go on the, the um, main framework. The actual beam that I'm putting onto this uh, surface here uh, it took a little bit of working out uh, the correct angle. They do go on at an angle and there is a location point but it's still not 100% clear what way they go. But eventually I did figure it out and um, as you can see they just go on the front of the um, main frame there. These next parts are made up. Um, these will be getting connected to the um, piston section that I placed in. These are very small parts um, once again, my camera can't really pick them up too well, um, but it's a, a double pronged um, item that will um, f go onto the um, main me mechanism. And you can see on the mark the um, connecting rod that um, will be um, going on to this part as well. Uh, that just um, fits right in the middle. There, there is um, a couple of little location knobs of plastic that um, fits into. You're not, again, you're, you're not meant to put any cement on these, um, but I found that quite difficult. So in the end, I just put a little bit of cement on, um, just enough to hold it, not to keep it completely in place. And once I've made up, I'm going to the main uh, push bar here. First of all, there's um, just a, a little end cap goes in this here, was connected to the wheel which I'm going to place in now. It goes on to the middle wheel uh, initially. Then the bar then fits through the um, the downward uh, bracket that I placed on without any cement before getting placed in onto the main bracket, the uh, piston bracket that you can see there. And then uh, another piston goes in to well, the top section of the housing and the um, little two prong thing that I made up then gets connected to that. Well it doesn't get connected to it, it just uh, lies in, be in between it and it goes down the main frame, uh, the twin bar that I made up in the previous uh, video. As you can see that just fits in there, there is a little housing for it to sit into but it was quite tricky uh, to get it into place. And another lever then goes on to it as well. Uh, as I said there's um, quite a lot um, levers and push bars here. I, I didn't realize there was that many on, on a, a train, um, steam train that is. 
But as I say, there was a, an education um, building this. And once um, all of the main bars were on, then there's a series of little brackets and uh, levers that go on that connects all, all, all the main beams together onto the ma main piston unit. So um, the two prong thing that I made up, uh, one of the brackets goes in between that then onto the main push bar. And there is another piston bar to go in. This goes at the top of the original housing. This is uh, very difficult to fit. It's very tight and it goes under some of the mechanisms uh, to line up with the main piston. And once that's in place, I can then uh, place a bracket that runs from that piston onto the original uh, main push bar that I placed in uh, a couple of videos ago. So it all gets connected. So as you can see, the, this is a very complicated part of the build. It's uh, really worth spending time studying it to see exactly how everything connects and works to, together. Um, you, you really do have to pay attention here while, while you're doing this because it's quite easy to get something in the wrong position. I, I put one of the bars actually in, um, when I was test fitting it in, in the wrong position and, and I swore that it should have went that way and of course it didn't. Um, I didn't record it because I was only test fitting uh, at the time. The complex of this system is only on this uh, one side of the train. The um, other side is a less complex system. still has the main bracket uh, for the piston but um, nothing uh, compared to this. It's just a straight uh, line to it. I'm using Life Color UA732 Black Rubber Vulcanize and I'm just pre painting uh, some of the pipes that I'll be adding later on in the build. Um, but at this stage, I'm just um, laying down the base coats and getting ready to install. And the other parts you see is uh, an H18 steel metallic by Mr. Hobby, and those are the uh, foot plates that run along the side of the frame which I pre-painted. So I waited overnight and um, now I'm placing on the uh, pipes that I um, pre-painted. There's a little location points along the boiler that these fit onto, making sure I get them the right way around the course. There's a couple of sets that um, have to go on. Then it's back to using Mr. Hobby's H18 steel metallic. And these parts are for the front of the train. It's uh, the armour that goes right in the front. And while they're drying, I'm going to take the opportunity to put on the uh, foot plates. These um, sit on the actual um, support beams of the frame. But there's also additional brackets that just underneath the um, boiler that they sit on as well to put up against the frame. But they do require additional brackets to be placed on. And then I can put on the second one. And it's the same for the other side, There's just a slight difference because I haven't got that um, unit thing, whatever it is, um, that red piece uh, in between the boiler on the uh, other side. And in actual fact, there's a little maintenance box that goes over that uh, red piece. So um, it's been pre-painted pre and I'm just uh, placing on cement uh, to sew on. I can't actually put this on until I put in the um, foot plate. Uh, the walkways so uh, I will just turn it around uh, you, you can see where it goes I I've also had to be careful to make sure that um, it wasn't resting on the uh, pipes luckily they were easy to move and it just fitted in quite nicely and this is where I'll bring part 8 to uh, an end uh, I've just got the um, other foot place on the opposite side to place on so if you haven't done so already, why don't you subscribe to the channel? If you hit the notification bell, you'll be updated on all my upcoming bills, of course, including this one and uh, the current one I've got going on at the moment, the Millennium Falcon. Hit that like button and uh, leave a comment. And don't forget to share the video. But in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.